It's happening again. I really have been enjoying the 2024 F1 season so far, and I think a lot of people have as well. Now look, we don't exactly have a title fight on our hands, but hey, I still think what's going on between Lando Norris and Max Verstappen is providing some good entertainment, especially when majority of fans thought that it was just going to be another season of pure Red Bull dominance. To see McLaren really showing their capability and the fight that they have, and that they arguably have had the fastest car recently, I mean, it's really good to watch, especially being Lando Norris, a young driver who everyone has really thought has potential to fight with drivers like Max Verstappen for wins and podiums. You know what I mean by it's happening again? That's right, that's typical fan reaction. Anger, outrage, people are furious with some of the moves which have happened on track, and I guess today that's what we'll be talking about. A quick little note on Austria, I guess. Now, look, I think we can all agree that Max Verstappen was a little bit naughty, and I guess some of the behaviour after the incident was uncalled for as well. And I think Max Verstappen is one of those drivers. When he is challenged, of course, he gets his elbows out, he gets a little bit aggressive, and the comparisons between him and drivers like Etten Senna, for example, or Michael Schumacher, are being thrown into the discussion as well, for good reason. You see, drivers like Ayrton Senna and Michael Schumacher very much had that mentality of, okay, well, you're not going to let me pass. Oh, well, guess we're crashing then. And Max Verstappen seems to be of that mentality as well. Look, I'm coming past, so you're going to let me past, or we are going to have an accident. Or, hey, are you going to overtake me? Well, if you try to, we're probably going to crash. Now, of course, we want to see very tight racing, maybe even a few wheel touches here and there, a slight bit of contact never hurt nobody. But at the same time, we don't want to see brilliant battles ruined by crashes. And unfortunately, that's what we did see in Austria. But I just can't stop thinking about one thing. If the roles were reversed and Max was in that McLaren and Lando was in that Red Bull, I am of the firm opinion that Max Verstappen would have gotten that move done a lot earlier. Now, I'm not here to compare previous incidents or previous overtakes at that corner in other seasons of F1. A lot of people have done that, and I'm sure you've seen them by now. Could Lando have gone a little bit more to the left and used more of the curb? Probably, but did he really have to? Well, not exactly. I guess when you're racing against somebody like Max Verstappen, I think drivers really need to rethink how they approach it. And that might sound really harsh, like why are there different rules for Max and not for everyone else? I don't see it as much as being different rules, but a different way in racing him in order for you not to end up DNF'd. So, of course, maybe when you come up against Max and you need to get that move done, maybe you have to take a little bit of curb. Maybe you just need to bite it a little bit and say, hey, I'm just going to have to do this. Otherwise, well, I'm crashing. It's a very interesting discussion to have because it really does make you look at different drivers and how exactly people approach them with their racing. Now, a lot of people were quick to bring up the 2021 incidents between Lewis Hamilton and Max. Max Verstappen. Even McLaren's team principal, Andreas Stella, bringing up that Max Verstappen has been getting away with this for too long and never got truly punished enough for it. Therefore, he feels like he may have free reign to do whatever he wants. I mean, it's a good question. Was there some precedent set? Does Max feel like he can bend the rules? Can he explore that grey area more than other people? Does he know because he's been there before? I'm talking more about the moving under braking, which was discussed during the race while Lando was trying to overtake Max. But there was still a factor of Lando Norris having to be very careful and I guess a little bit apprehensive about what he did because of his track limit warnings. Now for the incident, Max Verstappen was punished with a five second time penalty. And yes, he did also have to return to the pits to fix some of that damage, including that horrible puncture. But I very much still agree with Matt's tweet here. Drive-through penalties. Why 
were they ever gone. Drive-through penalties, for me, seem like a really good way of punishing a driver. Now, Formula One always changes, rules always change, and I guess fans just learn to accept it. Although, we are a fan base of really not liking change, and that's fine as well. But the reaction to all of this nonsense, once again, has been exhausting to watch. Now, yes, everyone's going to tell me to stay off social media, or that maybe you don't see it because you're not on Twitter or Instagram or, well, any social platform. But the problem is, why should we have to stay away from an online community or online platforms that we engage with news or conversation on because we don't like the screaming and the yelling that goes on among people that are clearly a bit strange? Unable to handle on-track incidents. Now, yes, of course, we love title battles, and I always want to see a battle for the win or a battle for a podium, but the one thing that will always bring it down and turn it into something that is more of a burden are the fan reactions. There's nothing wrong with discussion, but these self-appointed armchair analysts that think they work for Sky F1 or any other big broadcaster like to slow down old footage and try and use it as an example and look, this is what should have happened, this is what he should have done over and over again, which just floods your feed for the next week. And we're at the next race, and I'm still seeing it. It's something that will continue to happen as long as there is close racing and fights for the wins or even, you know, a fight for the title. This will continue. We're always going to have upset fans or fans that want to get their opinion out there, some very aggressively. And of course, we as users of Twitter or Instagram, for example, we're going to see it all. And yes, I think now I've just accepted it as part of being an F1 fan. But I think one thing's important here don't think that Max Verstappen is the only driver to do this. There are people out there with a Max Verstappen vendetta, and they are pretending that Max Verstappen is the only driver to drive like this, and think that Max is the only driver ever to have this mentality of, hey, if you think you're getting past me, we're going to crash instead. That is just simply not true. And if that's a narrative that you're going to run with, I'm here to tell you that you are incorrect. As mentioned earlier, there are plenty of drivers who have had the same mentality. Ayrton Senna thought that he had a God-given right to win Grand Prix. He did not believe he existed to finish second. This is nothing new. Do not pretend that it is.